But I think we both know what men are like. ever played a prize fighter on the screen? Yes. Uh, was it a very wonderful picture by Stanley Kramer? Yep. Uh, what is it, Peter? Did you just recently challenge Jack Dempsey to a duel? <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair. <laughs> Kirk Douglas? Kirk Douglas. <laughs> What brought you all to New York? Well, this is kind of a vacation and also a little work. I'm uh, on my way to Boston for the opening of my latest picture, Six Bridges to Cross. Oh, and you. that'll be opened in Boston uh, January 19th, isn't it, dear? Yes. Next week. And would your name be appropriate for this time of year, Miss Shelley Winters? Right, Bennett. <laughs> Joan Simmons. Joan Simmons? No. Jean, you mean. <coughs> Jean. Jean Simmons? <laughs> and, and the inimitable, quite miraculous, Charles Lawton, are you? Yeah. yeah. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great pleasure and privilege to have with us tonight a distinguished actor who has just returned from Germany, where he made a picture I understand is marvelous, called Paths of Glory, Mr. Adolf Mongeau. <laughs> hmm. Now it is my privilege to introduce one of the most beautiful actresses in the world, and a lady who has never worked with me, and I hope someday to get her, Miss Greg Austin. Actors have to do funny things for the stage and sometimes for television. And our guest panelist tonight has had to grow a big, bad mustache for a role in a new television series called The Troubleshooters. But he's a big, nice man, Keenan Wynn. And may I introduce my very dear old friend and star of Once More with Feeling, Miss Arlene Francis. I think this might be Peter. together. Peter, Peter Ustinov. That's right. <laughs> I must say, I think that if it hadn't been for the very recent fact of the uh, Monday night performance where you so properly went up to get the, the Oscar that you won with your brilliant performance in Spartacus, uh, they'd have had a lot more trouble because Heineke Spartacus had them Spartacus or food. was it the sundown? It was Spartacus. Spartacus. Yeah. You're better in the sundown. <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> And now, one of the reasons the Broadway play comedy Mary Mary is such a spectacular success is one of its shiniest stars, Mr. Barry Nelson. And now, the Oracle of Broadway, the widely read syndicated columnist of the New York Journal American, Miss Dorothy Kilgallen.
And has your picture recently opened here in New York? Yes. Mr. Griffin? Hello, James Mason. <laughs> <laughs> That was a little rough. They got into the cinema so quickly that we never had a chance to really play any games with them. But even then... Well, I was well, kind of hoping Lolita was coming out with you, Mr. Mason. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we should say that Mr. Mason does give an amazingly... Well, I shouldn't say it's amazing, but a remarkably good performance mm -hmm. in Lolita. Just the best thing you've done in so long. And they've all been good. <laughs> I hope this doesn't embarrass you too much, but all of his performances are magnificent, and I'm, I'm sure we are hearing now, as we properly should, that there's another nomination coming up for James yes, Mason. Yes, John, hope so. might I ask Mr. Mason a question? What was it like working with this very young and inexperienced girl who played Lolita, Mr. Mason? Uh, was it an interesting It was very adventure? good. In the most professional sense, it was very good indeed. She's extremely talented, very bright. She's going to be a very important young actress. You think she's going to have a long career? In mm -hmm. I think so, if she wants it. Was this her first picture, Lolita? Yes, yeah, she's done one or, little, one or two itty-bitty things on television, on the coast, I think. That's all she's done. Mm -hmm. But she's real good. She's a remarkably fortunate young lady to have a chance to jump off with you, sir. Think, oh, thank you. It is so. And thanks very much for being thank our you, guest. John. Nice to have you with us. And welcome <laughs> Well, then, are you Sue Lyon? Yes. <laughs> May I ask you a question, Miss Lyon? Which did you prefer doing, The Night of the Iguana or Lolita? Lolita. Why? Well, it was my first picture, and uh, I was living in a very exciting country for me, England, and I, I just had more fun doing it. It was more exciting work. She was a fun girl. <laughs> Well, I suppose the first one is one that you always remember, and it will always be one of the most, one of the most exciting days. And this big day coming up, is there not, uh, for you, this, is it this week? You have a... Oh, my birthday. Yeah. That's my which big day? Yeah. On Friday. Uh, is it uh, meet and proper or not meet and proper to say which birthday is it going to be? 7, 18. going to be 18 on Friday? Well, may we wish you many, many happy returns of the day. A little bit ahead of time, but uh, we might as well start the birthday celebration early on. Do you find? <laughs> is it, is it the, uh, 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 is it Ann Jackson, Eli Wallach, and, yes. and Arkin? Yes, it Mark? is. <laughs> The entire cast of one of the greatest hits on Broadway, Love, and if I may, present Ann Jackson, Mrs. Wallach, Mr. Wallach, and Mr. Arkin. The and they're cast all of... marvelous and, in the show. And, uh, <laughs> well, I must say that uh, it must be a great thrill to have as big a hit as you all have in Love, but I would imagine your Sunday nights are very precious to you. Thank you very much for sharing one of them with us. Our Delight to have you with us tonight. On my left, the man who brilliantly acts as Arlene France's husband eight times a week, Mr. Ralph Meeker. And on my left, my lovely onstage wife, Arlene Francis. Have you been in some very big pictures in the past year? Very successful pictures. Yes! Miss Newman? Were you just simply marvelous as Lolita's mother? Uh, come stay, come so! <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it Shelley Winters? Yes! <laughs> Uh, 
what is it, Peter? Did you just recently challenge Jack Dempsey to a duel? <laughs> <laughs> That's unfair. <laughs> Kirk Douglas? Kirk Douglas. <laughs> What brought you all to New York? Well, this is kind of a vacation and also a little work. I'm uh, on my way to Boston for the opening of my latest picture, Six Bridges to Cross. Oh, and you. that'll be opened in Boston uh, January 19th, isn't it, dear? Yes. Next week. But I think we both know that men are like. Meet again. ever play the prize fighter on the screen? Yep. Uh, was it a very wonderful picture by Stanley Kramer? Yep. And would your name be appropriate for this time of year, Miss Shelley Winters? Right, Bennett. <laughs> Joan Simmons. Joan Simmons? No. Jean. Jean. <coughs> Jean Simmons? <laughs> and the inimitable, quite miraculous, Charles Lawton, are you? Yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure and privilege to have with us tonight a distinguished actor who has just returned from Germany, where he made a picture I understand is marvelous, called Paths of Glory, Mr. Adolf Mongeau. <laughs> hmm. Now it is my privilege to introduce one of the most beautiful actresses in the world, and a lady who has never worked with me, and I hope someday to get her. Miss Greer Garson. Actors have to do funny things for the stage and sometimes for television. And our guest panelist tonight has had to grow a big, bad mustache for a role in a new television series called The Troubleshooters. But he's a big, nice man, Keenan Wynn. <laughs> <laughs> 